Welcome back to the Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Psalm chapter 113, where an unknown author wrote a short song of praise to God. He or she began, We praise you, Lord. Your name is blessed forever. Your name will be praised everywhere the sun's light touches. You are a great king over all the nations, and your glory is above the heavens. There is no one like you, God. Your throne is in heaven, but you have to humble yourself to even look at anything in heaven or on the earth. You raise the poor from the dust and the ash heap, and you let them sit with the princes of your people. You let the barren woman have a home with many children. We praise you, Lord. The most important verses in this chapter are Psalm 113, verses 5 and 6, which state, Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that He is glorious and praiseworthy. And God wants us to know that He promotes whomever He wishes, whenever He wishes. He makes the poor man a prince and the barren woman a mother. This great God who has to humble Himself to even look our way wants to be our father and our friend. Why don't you give him what he desires? Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus for salvation. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. We broke God's law, but Jesus paid our fine. He also conquered hell and death. And his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that he raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? Thanks for watching the Psalm chapter 113 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.